Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another 100 things declutter video. I wonder how many of us are deep into decluttering over COVID-19 lockdown. I kind of went from being super productive and wanting to do all the things to not wanting to do anything and kind of swaying between the two. But I have been gathering up some things to clear out of my house and putting them into the car so that I was ready to drop them off at the donation center once things opened up. I'm kind of to the point now where I still feel like I have too much stuff and I really want less and I kind of want to test myself on how much of the stuff I really actually need because I've learned that just because I use something doesn't mean I actually need it. I probably just use it because it's there and if it wasn't there I would make another plan and so I'm kind of going to the deeper levels of clearing out more things and I'm kind of really tempted to take everything out of my kitchen and like put it in the garage or in the cabin or somewhere and then when I really need something go and get it because I, I feel like there'll be a lot of stuff left that if it's inconvenient to go and get I would kind of just make another plan and figure out how to do without it so we'll see if I end up doing that but that's kind of how I'm feeling that rather than taking things out and removing things at this stage i kind of just want to bring back in what i do want and see what's left but that also kind of seems daunting so i don't know if i'm going to be doing that but anyway here are a hundred things that i did manage to clear out and gather and sort and remove from my house a random allen key this is one of those fly spray automated spray thingies we don't actually use it doesn't really work. As you can see, there's actual fly poo on it. A little box of dental wax that was given to Noah to use on his braces. He's coming to the end of his braces. He really doesn't need this anymore. I've been sorting through my makeup and I've got these three pigments that are super, super old and I've just never worn them. So I think it's time to let them go. A pair of shoes or like jandals that I never wear. A really ratty old bra. So this pair of trousers was white and navy when I bought it. And then I turmeric stained it, but I still just don't wear it because this kind of, the navy kind of reads black now and they don't fit brilliantly. So I'm just going to let these go. A pair of workout shorts that I never wear. And another one. A little black cami that I don't wear because I don't wear black anymore. Plus this is way too small. A couple of little faux camisoles. So you clip these to your bra straps and then kind of tuck this under your bra and then it just kind of covers up where a top is too low cut. I don't wear black anymore and I never actually use the white ones so I'm not going to hang on to these. A white t-shirt that is way too small for me. A navy and white little cropped cardigan that I don't wear anymore and it has a stain on it. A cuff that I don't wear, I've had it for years I think. I've worn it once for a fancy dress party. Some bracelets I don't wear. A piece of like faux leather thong I've no use for. A Weight Watchers pedometer that I've had for probably about 15 years. I don't even know if it works anymore but if I was going to use a pedometer I'd probably use one on my phone so I'm not going to keep this. A ring that I don't wear. I haven't worn this in years. A USB car adapter. This is really old. I didn't even know I had it and I don't need this one. These are extra heads for like a battery operated foot file that I decluttered ages ago. A pair of white pillowcases that are kind of yellowed over time and I don't even have the duvet cover that goes with them and I don't use these. A pair of shoes that I never wear. Some eyelash adhesive. I bought this to stick a fake moustache onto Daniel when he was like dressing up for some event like a costume party and yeah, I don't need this. I don't actually wear false eyelashes and this is probably all dried up anyway. Some dark grey tights that I don't wear and also some in light grey fan that I have no need for. A whole pile of black tights and fishnets and knee highs. I don't wear black anymore. And for that reason I have no need of this pair of black shoes. I really liked these. I thought they looked like point shoes the way they were kind of flat on the front and I love the little punch out detail. But they're getting kind of old and they're starting to fall apart anyway. They're really cute though. Look at that little kitten heel. Some bits of jewellery that I don't use or don't need and I haven't worn in ages. A pair of earrings I don't wear. 
a mailing tube with two photographic prints that I don't need. A bead sorting box that I no longer have a use for. A gross old plastic container. It had some eyeshadow pigments in it. That's what the dust is. I don't even have a lid for it. I found this lurking in the cupboard. I used to enjoy it. It's like a it's like a coffee that's not coffee. But it's got gluten in, so I can't even finish that off. Some little wooden chalkboard labels that are no longer needed. This is a houseplant water meter or moisture meter. It has stopped working. I mentioned it in a vlog that it just like wasn't even working and stayed in the dry zone even when I put it under running water. So I'm going to toss this. I found this manual for my vlogging camera. I haven't referenced it the whole time I've had my camera, which has been years. And I think if I did need to reference it, I could just look it up online. A little camera pouch that I've had for years and years and years. We had it from a really old camera and I just don't use it. This is a 28 to 200 mil lens that I got secondhand for the boys to use for their photography projects with my old camera. And it was fine for a while, but now it's actually broken. The blades inside, the aperture blades are stuck. And I took it in to be looked at and it's going to cost so much. I think I paid about $70 for this and it's going to cost around 150 just to have it looked at. Plus any repair fees on top of that. And I just don't want to spend that on this lens. So I'm going to pass it on and see if somebody else can fix it and make use of it. But it's no good to me. This thrifted cardigan, I just don't wear it. It kind of fits me funny. I should have paid better attention when I was buying it. But I have a friend to pass this on to that I think it will suit. This navy blue cardigan, also thrifted, that I don't wear. This wetsuit has become clutter because Grant got it out of storage to use and it looks like something has nibbled it. Do you think it's a mess? I don't know what it is, but it's not weird. really usable, is it? This pair of earrings, it's gone all tarnished and horrible. This necklace that I don't wear. And this one. And also this one. This tiny little pendant used to be silver, but all of the plating is worn off and it looks a bit ratty. Another necklace I don't wear. And another one. And a few more that are just old and tarnished and the plating is worn off. Another one I don't wear because I don't wear silver anymore. This one's kind of strange. The chain is kind of two colours because on half of it the rose gold plating has worn off. Another silver necklace I don't wear. And another one with a rose quartz pendant. And one with an amethyst pendant because I don't wear black anymore. Another couple of silver necklaces I no longer wear. Here's a bracelet that I made that I don't wear because it's silver. And another couple of bracelets I don't wear. Here's a t-shirt that I thrifted because I was looking for more patterned tops. But I never wear this because it just looks a bit old. I didn't look at it properly when I bought it. And like this doesn't lay down flat and I just never reach for it. So I'm not going to keep it. This is like a sagey grayish green cardigan that I just never wear. I've got the terracotta orange version and I love it. Which is why I bought this one. But I just never ever reach for this one. So... I'm not going to keep it. Having a bit of a declutter of my makeup. So I've got this palette. I've depotted the one colour out of here that I do actually use. And I'm going to pass the rest on to a friend. I've also had this eyeshadow for absolutely years. And I just, as you can see, don't wear it. I don't even know why I've been hanging on to this one. As you can see, it's like completely broken. And I don't even use it. Another one I don't use... And another one, this is just a medium brown, which would be a nice crease color, except that it's loaded full of glitter, so I don't use it. As you can see, I don't use any of these. Or this one either, it's like a creamy yellow, but it's kind of, yeah, it's, it just doesn't look good on me. A kitchen knife that I never ever use, and the handle is broken. Also this knife Grant used to use when he was fishing but it's just been in the drawer unused for years, so I'd rather have the space. This pair of earrings I bought and have never actually worn, and I'm gonna pass it on to a friend. And this pair as well. This case holds like a pop-up kind of little white box for product photography. It was kind of rubbish, and 
I'm not going to use it anymore. I only bought it because we had the Bistas, the online store, and we don't have that anymore. So I'm going to clear this out. I think this is brown rice flour. I've had it for absolutely years. I bought it from Binin when we lived in Auckland, and we've been in this house five years tomorrow. So I think this can go. Ditto this xanthan gum, and I've also since come to learn that this really isn't great to eat. So I'll be tossing this. A couple of stock cubes that I found in the pantry. I think we got these with Hello Fresh Meals. Also had these in the pantry for ages. I ordered some gluten-free cookies that I can eat and they didn't have in stock and they sent these instead and this has ingredients I can't eat and you can see some of them have been eaten but I think the kids just don't like them so they're kind of old and I'm just going to toss them. This gluten-free flour was also in the pantry and it's really old and it's got ingredients in that I can't eat. I really enjoyed this mandolin for a while and used it a fair bit for slicing onions but I just haven't used it in ages which tells me that I don't really need it and I would rather have the shelf space so this can go. A cake stand that I don't use. Some medication that I've had since February 2016. I think this can go. A random bottle. It used to have a dropper but I don't even know where the dropper's gone. A compact mirror that's been in my bathroom cabinet for years and I have no use for it. Ditto this roll-on eyeshadow. It's like pigment in a roll-on thingy but it just kind of goes everywhere and I don't actually wear it. A random little emery board. A strange bag. I don't even know what this is from. A grotty old clear pencil case. A really really old and almost empty tube of body lotion. I had three hole punches and we only need one so these two can go. This was my little like command center kind of like clipboard but I made this with a ring binder thingy at the top instead and I used to have like my morning and afternoon and evening routine sheets and trackers and that kind of thing but I haven't used it in years and this has kind of come loose anyway so I'm just gonna toss it. This is a stopper for the bottom and top of the metal shelving we used to have in the cabin. A pair of sunglasses that has broken and we have mended it but it keeps breaking and it's actually scratched now as well. And the case that it came in. A wallet that isn't actually much good. It's only really good for holding notes and cards. There's nowhere to put your change without it falling out. A fabric glasses case that we don't use. A pair of shoes that I don't wear anymore. Two pairs of holy socks. Earbuds that are not working properly. The left one doesn't have much sound coming out of it. A pair of knickers with holes in. Earrings I don't wear. And another pair. I hope you found that helpful. I hope it's given you some motivation to go and kind of sift through the things in your own home and get rid of some clutter. It always feels so good to do. And it's kind of a never ending job. There's always something to get rid of. So let this be my encouragement to you to go and find a few things and clear out some clutter because it just feels so good. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.